Hello, Electroheads. Today we have the Cyrusha Quattro. Now, I've reviewed a lot of the Cyrusha range, including the XF900 and the Komodo. This is very much like the rest of Cyrusha's range. Very big, chunky bicycles for taking you off-road, all-terrain, up mountains, but you can also commute around the town on them. So, first things first, Quattro. With a K. Is the name for this model. Quattro in Spanish means four. Um, I don't know what is for about this because it's still got two wheels. Um, so today I'm going to give you a review of this bike, tell you what I think about how it's all put together, you put it through some tests off road. This is kind of my home area around Hampstead Heath. So it's nice to show you around some of the little bike trails that some you're allowed on, some you're not. We're just doing the ones you're allowed on. Don't get any ideas. Huh? <laughs> So what we've got here in terms of componentry is a Bafang 750 watt motor that peaks out at 1200 watts, but it is limited to 15 miles an hour or 30 kilometers an hour, and it's marketed as a 250 watt limited bike. Seeing as the motor controller is actually a 1500 watt 25 amp motor controller, there is capability for a hell of a lot more. So the motor controller is mounted inside this area, which you'd normally mount a mid-drive system, so that's giving a lot of space for heat dissipation and the motor controller to be a lot bigger, which is awesome. You've got the rear Bafang drive obviously here. You've got hydraulic disc brakes, which is really good for when you're slowing down a bike with wheels this size. The battery is a 48 volt, 17 amp hour pack, which is integrated into the frame really nicely. And I really like this kind of like Boeing 747 chest of this frame here. I mean, it, as soon as I wheeled it out, someone said, nice bike, mate. Like, this thing is really gonna attract some attention on town. Regarding tires, we've got Chow Yang 26 inch by four inch fat tires. Flat tires are great off-road because they give you a huge level of confidence when it's getting muddy like it is now. They're not too chunky, uh, like the tread, so it means you can still ride on road and, um, get at high speeds around town. They've also got puncture resistance, which doesn't always come on fat tires. So that's kind of a big bonus because punches on these can be a real pain in the ass because you, you're not even gonna be able to push it. With this bike, it's kind of strange as the legal requirement in the UK is that the bike outputs 250 watts over a half an hour period and has no throttle. And this bike meets neither of those requirements, yet it's still speed limited when it could reach 30 miles an hour. Therefore, the limit feels pointless. The lighting is convenient with 250 lumen front light and a rear brake light. 250 lumens is a bit weak for a vehicle of this size, but it's certainly enough to get you through dark paths. The lights are triggered with their own button alongside the horn on the handlebars, which is nice and handy. The gear arrangement is a Shimano Tawny seven speed shifter. It's good to see Shimano componentry on this bike as they're one of the most trusted bike part brands out there. Regarding the setup on the handlebars, the bike is designed for an upright seating position with the adjustable angle handlebars, which allows you to ride with a more leisurely posture. The LCD offers a lot of data such as power output, power level, top speed, and distance. This is all you really need. The battery is a 48 volt, 17 amp hour frame integrated removable pack that charges in five to seven hours and provides 25 to 50 miles of range, which is ideal for this setup and is an accurate range prediction provided you aren't riding full throttle all the time. One of the best features of this bike is the two year warranty provided by Cyrusha, which is double what most manufacturers provide. So the bike comes in at 2,199 pounds, which I feel is fair. Considering the added customer support and warranty you get, it's worth it. All right, let's take it out on some trails and see what it does. Oh, that's actually really scary. <laughs> Whoa. Riding in Hampstead Heath was an amazing experience on this bike. I was able to cruise the moist rolling hills at full speed in comfort, knowing that the suspension and fat tires would be there to cushion the impacts. I could ride over fallen logs like they were twigs, and once I'd made my way to the base of the hill, blasting back up it was even more fun. One of the best things about fat tire bikes with powerful motors is that when you've lost the trail, you realize that you don't need one. 
These bikes are trail makers. For the first part of the ride, I'd forgotten that the bike was only front suspension, as with such fat tires, it feels like there is rear suspension, which says a lot for saving weight on extra componentry and using the air in the tires to smooth out the ride. With the bike weighing 35 kilograms, it's still agile due to the 750 watt motor, but I wouldn't want to go much heavier than that. So front suspension is just fine. So after spending a full day with the Cyrusha Quattro, cruising around these rolling hills and through some of the trails I'm used to, this is just a whole nother level of comfort and fun that you can get off road because I feel so confident that I'm just gonna defeat anything in my path. And this bike is really built up. It's built up for the bigger rider. I mean, I'm only 80 kilos, but this thing will take riders up to six foot six inches, which is huge. I'm not supposed to swear. It is built like a tank. It looks great. I love the frame. I love the way it rides and I've had an amazing amount of fun today cruising it around. So thank you for watching. Check out the affiliate code in the description for a discount and look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.